Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, so this one's going to be a little bit different, taken away from our our current tutorial series. Um, that's just because I'm again quite a few questions on how to import animations from Mixamo into Unity. Uh, it's actually dead simple, um, but it's one of those things if nobody tells you, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out by yourself, and you might end up doing something wrong. Um, so I figured I'll explain how I do it, um, and if any of you guys do it different or can recommend something better, just go ahead and throw it in the comments. Right, so <clears throat> once you create your Adobe account and you sign into Mixamo, uh, you'll be presented with either the character screen or the animation screen. So where you really want to start is the character screen, so go ahead and just uh, click on that link. Uh, it'll take you to this page here. You can basically just go through all the current Mixamo characters and select which one you want to use. Uh, do bear in mind that not all the animations work with every character. So if I download animations with my um, character over here, um, and then I switch character to say this uh, Amy over here. Um, I won't be able to use those animations because uh, they're, they're different rigs. Uh, their bones are in different places, stuff like that. Uh, so just bear in mind, if you switch character later on or you add another character to the game, uh, you might need to go through and download the animations again. Uh, not always the case because uh, sometimes I have the same rig and all the bones are in the exact same place, uh, stuff like that. But uh, if you get some funny behavior, <laughs> just bear that in mind. Okay, so we're going to start off. So this is the character I use in my tutorials. Uh, for the sake of being different, we're going to use Mr. Mr. Mousy over here. So you just uh, click on a character you want and uh, mix them over kind of. It'll remember your decision for when you go over to the animations. Uh, so we'll download this character. Uh, so here, format, what you want to do is you want to click that download and just go FBX for Unity. Uh, don't worry about the pose. I usually just leave it in the T pose and click download. Cool. While that's downloading, we'll go over to animations and we'll start having a look at the different kind of animations we can get. Uh, so if you guys know Mixamo, there is obviously a ton of animations you can get. Uh, so let's uh, have a look at dancing so we can see our little mouse dance, which would be a perfect example. Uh, so when you download, uh, you can obviously edit any of the settings you want. You can tell it whether it's a mirror or not. Um, as you guys know, you can kind of do that in Unity, like mirroring and stuff like that. Okay, so what you want to do is under the format, uh, you can either go FBX or FBX for Unity. Uh, I download it without the skin just because it makes the uh, file size a lot smaller. Um, I leave the frames and everything just as is. So I'll click download now. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's go over to Unity and start creating our folder structure. So I'm just going to create a folder for um, our models, or actually let's do characters. Um, we're going to create a folder for each character, so we're going to have Mousy. Um, and then inside that folder, we'll create another folder for animations. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and drag in our Mousy into the Mousy folder. And we will just drag our <clears throat> animation just into the animations folder. Cool. So we have our animation and we have our mouse. So first things first, what we want to do is um, click and drag our mouse into the scene so we can see him. <clears throat> just going to double click on him to center him. And click on the main camera, go to game object, align with view. We can see our mouse. To rotate this directional light just so we can see them a little bit better. All right. So I'm going to save this scene just over the default sample scene. Replace that. All right. So <clears throat> under materials, what we want to do is uh, extract the textures. And it's going to ask us to select a folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder and call it textures. And we want to extract the textures into there. Wait for that to finish. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> this will usually pop up just because obviously we need to format the normal map and start to fix that. Cool. All done. So as you can see, it's already applied it to our character. Um, and now what we want to do is let's change our rig. 
We're going to change it from a generic just to a humanoid. That's going to hit apply. Cool. And then what I'm going to do under the animations uh, where it says rig, I'm going to change that to uh, humanoid and avatar definition. Instead of create from this model, we're going to copy from other avatar. And under source, we're going to look at our character that we imported. And we're going to click his avatar and just drag that in there and hit apply. All right, so let's rename these a bit better. So we'll call this Melcy. And for our animation here, we can just call it anim underscore dance. All right, so if we go to animation now, Firstly, you can see it's applied it to our new avatar, so we can actually see our Melcy doing the animation. And uh, what we want to do from here is every single animation attached to this object, uh, it'll actually let you edit and rename from the animation tab. So what we'll do is, see there's only one clip on here. So um, I'm actually just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to tick loop um, and just hit apply. All right, so inside the animation folder, uh, I'm going to create a con animation animated controller. I'm just going to call it Mousy, and uh, I'm going to click on our Mousy here. I'm going to rename them now to match our prefab. And uh, what I'm going to do inside Animator, we're just going to click and drag our new animation controller, and just pop them over. Okay. So we'll apply root motion, we'll just leave everything else as default. Um, but I'm going to click on the animator tab. If you don't have it, you can find it under window, animation and animator. Um, I've clipped it up here next to the scene. Um, and what we want to do is if we expand our anim dance, you'll see our animation here. It's going to change the name a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to change it to um, dancing and hit apply and what you'll see is it'll regenerate in here so I'm going to click and drag dancing over because it's the first one you can see it's kind of just um, set it to the default state um, and because we told it to loop uh, it should just loop so I'm going to click on mouse C in the hierarchy and hit play and you'll see how the animator behaves it'll kind of just start playing and just start looping through all right so very basic tutorial, uh, that's how I get my characters from Mixamo onto here. Um, and you can see if I uh, show you in Explorer, you can see without taking the skin, our animation size is actually uh, very small. That's kilobytes, as opposed to if you take one of their really good characters um, and take the skin with every animation, you know, your project will start going up in size like ridiculously. <laughs> Cool. Well, thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, if you if you're interested in the in any more of my tutorials, obviously just check out my channel. I've got quite a few going on and um, using animations from Mixamo, so it's easy to follow along. So cool. Uh, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.